As you know, my name is Kain Sandegenius and today we are going to continue with tutorial 3 on our Spring Security Tutorial for Java Programmers. Today is going to be super easy, going to be straightforward and going to be very, very short, brief and clear. What you only need, what you only need to do is to subscribe to my channel, subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below and hit the bell icon just there so that when, you, when I make new updates you get notified immediately and in this way you motivate me and if I if you have any challenges, just let me know. I'm going to respond to you immediately and help you solve the problem and you keep on moving. So subscribe and also leave me a comment if you have any comment to make. And besides, I um, also like to recommend that you continue learning. If you're a programmer, a software engineer, it's very good. It's easy to get a job. And also, if you if you follow my lessons carefully, you are consistent, you put the necessary effort, then you are going to learn a whole lot and become a, a software engineer in short time. So in part two, we see how we're able to save username and password in MySQL database. And when we run the application, we're able to log in into MySQL, into the application using the, the username and password we stored in MySQL database. And that is very, very good. But the question is, do we have to store username and password as plain text? Uh, that seems to be risky. But let's try to run this application just to make sure everything is okay. And then we proceed to see how we can en encrypt our password uh, before we, uh, our pass our, how we can use an encrypted password. Um, let's run this application. So I'm gonna click here at this point, um, yeah. And as it's running, I'm going to just try to open my SQL. Let's see the username and password available there. So I'm going to use my SQL command line. And my SQL command line opens up. So I'm going to just say the, the password. That is fine. And I'm going to now check because the database is called userDB. So I'm going to say use user db uh, and I'm going to say select star from user because the name of the table containing the username and password is user so we have two users Hercules Achilles Hercules uh, gold Achilles gift all right so our application actually have started up and right now we see uh, okay so it's coming up and yes everything is perfectly okay tomcat started on port 8080 so as you already know the home controller says that we can get to the home page by going to slash home at port 8080 localhost all right so let's do this i'm going to open a new tab uh, uh maximize all right so i'm going to just go http uh localhost 8080 home so as you can see it's going to display a login page uh username and password has to be entered and i'm going to enter the names um, the username and password i have in my sql database and it's hercules hercules and gold gold c and as you can see it logged in perfectly okay. If I enter a wrong password, uh, if I enter a wrong password, Hercules and something else, you see it doesn't log in, it tells us bus credentials. So everything is working so far. But if we look at the password stored in the database, it's stored in plain text, that is not very good. You can never do that in production. It doesn't make sense because if a hacker gets access to your database, he have everything uh, your username name and password so now this tutorial is about how to fetch uh encrypted password i've not created a registration page where you need to uh, actually create this password uh and store it when you register a user so for now we added these users manually we are also going to add encrypted password manually and later on we will talk about user registration we are going to see how to actually fill a form and submit into the database so Let's get to work. So there is a step-by-step -step in my website, kindsandthegenius.com, and then you get to this place, Spring Security. But look at the description box of this video. You'll see a link to this page so you can follow this step-by-step -step easily. And that is what I recommend you do. 
Now, in the previous tutorial, remember that in the app security config file, we have this web security configurer adapter that we, uh, we extended. And when we set the password encoder, we have to use no no op password encoder, I mean no encryption, it's plain text, and we don't we want to get rid of this. Okay, so uh, now outside the no op password encoder, there are other encoders that we can use. For instance, we have the S script password encoder. We have the uh, maybe I'm, I'm just gonna I'm just going to reduce the font of this and actually expand this a layer. Okay, so everything fits into one 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 line. So we have no op. We have pbkdf2 password encoder. We have sh a251, you have MD message digest, uh, we have that's MD45 and so on. Today we are going to be using bcrypt password encoder. bcrypt password encoder has been very uh, useful, that uh, is, uh, according to what they say, it's one of the most secure, and according to Wikipedia, it incorporates salt to protect against rainbow attack, rainbow table attack, which is very uh, destructive attack. It's also an adaptive function, which means that over time, the iteration count can be increased to make it slower. Therefore, it remains resistant to brute force search attack, even with very high computational power. So Bcrypt is very good. Try to read up other password encoders. That is an exercise I'm giving you. Try to do it. I recommend even as you work on hands-on and these practicals, try to make out time to also read some of the theories. That is the way to learn. So let's follow the step-by-step -step at this point. Step one, visit the HTTP www.browserlink, uh, blah, 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 okay. We are gonna visit this website, and then we are going to generate two passwords, one, two, three, four, and A, B, C, D. So uh, let's see, let's see. I don't know if I have this, okay, I have this open, okay. So, Let's visit this website. Let me go to. So this website allows us to generate uh, to generate uh, passwords for any plain text we type in. It's going to encode this password for us uh, using bcrypt. Um, so I'm going to say one, two, three, four bcrypts. So we have password uh, generated. We have twelve A represents uh, bcrypts, and the second one says is the round, dollar ten is the round. So it means that if I type in let's say A B C D uh, and the B crypt generate you can see that the first items don't actually change. So let's start with one two three four uh, B crypt perfect so I'm going to copy it at this point I'm going to create a new user user one in my database and put in this password right here. Okay, so uh, I, I can actually do it here, but I, you can also use Workbench. But in this case, let me just do it here in, in, the, in the command line. So I'm going to say insert into user, uh, I'm going to say id of 3, user 1. And I'm going to put in the password right here. Okay. Yes. So we are going to insert this. Oh, it says, let's see, write syntax near yeah, three, insert into user values. Okay, I'm missing out values. So sometimes you may have to actually go to the using workbench and change the length of this column. I don't know if, so I'm going to say values. Okay, query okay, I've inserted user three. Let's now insert user four. So I'm going to go to do for A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, and B crypt. Perfect. I'm going to just copy it and also go here. And at this point, I'm going to just take all this. Uh, okay, let's just use the backspace. Okay, so this is what we have at this point. Okay. All right, so in this case, we are talking about user two, user two. Hmm. I gotta use the, 
the arrow key to move to this place and just take out one and put user 2 and the ID is going to be 4 4 alright so query ok so we've inserted 2 users user 1 1 2 3 4 user 2 A B C D and I can just say select star from our user and you can see we have four different records in there okay so let's get back to the step by step let's get back to the step by step so the step says create two passwords which I've already done created two passwords uh, the nice thing is to replace this uh, no password encoder I'm going to replace it with new bcrypt uh, password encoder so instead of using this get instance here I'll I'll just say new bcrypt password encoder so let's say new uh, bcrypt password encoder bcrypt okay so that is how it goes uh, save everything I can just use Control Shift O on my keyboard. Is to add. What? Okay, I, I need to close because it's okay. Perfect. So everything is okay. Everything is okay. And if I get back to the step by step at this point, it tells me that everything is gonna be like this. And if you check, this is exactly what I have in my my Java application in this file. Um, App Security Config. I'm going to launch this application now. Let's try to see if it works. So uh, let's save everything and let's relaunch. Okay. So uh, so I'm relaunching and we are going to try it out. Once the application starts up, we are going to get back to this place. We are going to try to sign in this time using the the, 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 the new records, the new uh, credentials we added to our database. So, um, let's check. Okay, so I think... Finish the repository. Okay, so it's starting off, so we just got to wait for a couple of seconds uh, for everything to start off, and let's see. Again, I'd like to recommend try to make sure you follow the lessons and if you've not subscribed, hit the subscribe button below. That's the best way you follow these easy lessons every week. Uh, there's no way you are not going to be a very good uh, programmer after some months. So, Tomcats have started on port 8080. So at this point, I'm going to refresh this page. At this point, I'm going to refresh it. Now, if I use this plain text that I have in my database, is it going to work? I don't know. Let's let's just try. So I'm going to use Hercules. Uh, Hercules is for gold. G O L D. Uh, sign in. It doesn't work. So the plain text password actually does not work once we've sent the bcrypt password encoder. Now let's try user one. User one, and the password is one two three four. Let's see. So let's see. Perfect. So it worked. So this is how to use bcrypt password encoder to encode your password. So now we've set up this and this is fine. In the next tutorial, we are going to now see how we can modify this form. We can actually customize this form or maybe create our own form uh, using by ourselves because we, we cannot always be spoon fed by the spring from work. So this is what we are going to do in tutorial forms. Remember to keep subscribed and make sure that you activate notification and let me know if you have any challenges following this lesson. And I'd like to thank you for viewing and we'll see you in tutorial 4.